Right, match day 546, Oxford away. I'm absolutely busting for a slash. There's 10 minutes till kickoff. Traffic is a nightmare. Let's get into it real quick. Lineup: Eistead, Deji, Ness, Jones, Asimway, Dobson, Anderson, Eden, Blackett, Taylor, May, and Carnu. So it looks like a 3 5 2 again. Looks like Ice has got the nod because Maynard Brewers obviously, you know, be seeding a few. Maybe Holden thinks that with the options he's got, that might obviously help um, maybe keep a clean sheet today. Other than that, pretty much the same old team. Uh, we've not won at Oxford in God knows how long. Uh, maybe 2014, 15. It was an FA Cup game away. So, real bogey side for us, Oxford, obviously. Um, I'm really hoping we get the win today, but we'll see. Uh, we're going to try and get to the ground quick. Speaks to a few fans on the way in, but it's pushing it. Uh, score predictions, I'm going to say... Uh, Hart says 1-0 Charlton. Head says 3-1, 2-1 on Oxford. See you at the game, guys. Nice one. Bollocks. as flat as a two day old birthday balloon and justifiably were absolutely shocking um, Oxford could just come stay in second gear for the rest of the game but will not score absolute pedestrian in midfield all over us running us over fence crap as per don't bank with us getting a goal at all um, completely non-eventful as you can see by the clips I'll post completely uneventful Oxford could literally walk this 1-0, shambolic, nothing, nothing in it, no bite. The centre-backs are giants compared to our strikers. The most demoralising first half so far all season.
lovely finish. Didn't see it coming to be fair. Just grabs some, grab some shit for the start, but fair play. Holding my sensei, because um, we've come out a bit quicker. So yeah, a bit more energy to the game as well. So we'll see, we'll go from here. We can't hear you, I do apologise. A bit loud in there, but yeah, great goal, great goal. said full time here Sam Stadium 2-1 uh, 5 on the spin it's just not great is it really uh, just terrible being blunt uh, I've tried to have a word with a few fans of, of both sides actually Oxford and Charlton fans and there's not been much interest to be fair uh, a lot of the Oxford fans I've tried speaking to uh, said they don't really support Oxford they sort of just go as and when to games and, uh, the Charlton fans I tried speaking to and, and rightly so they went up for talking because let's be honest uh, who wants to go away, watch a performance like that, and lose, and then talk again? Especially when it's the, if you can't in the Carabao Cup game against Newport, it's the uh, fifth, fifth, you know, game on the spin. Uh, normally at this point, I obviously say that I go home and have a think and talk about it, but I'll just do it now because um, uh, it's just not been the best of days in terms of content. Uh, I had a bit of a, sh a bit of a shambles getting here, um, a lot of traffic on the way in, a lot of kerfuffle parking. I had about 10 minutes to get to the ground, take some shots and stuff, just, just weren't a lot of time. Uh, you know, my own fault, but hey-ho. Yeah, so in terms of the game, the first half, we a very cowardly performance uh, away from home. Uh, literally no no intent at all. Too much uh, too much passing at the back and too too much like panic, lump it long. Just just terrible, no strategy, just awful. But that, that second half, though, a bit better. And um, I'd say Oxford's goal actually came against the run of play, to be honest. I don't think I'm being too unfair in saying that. I'd say over the course of the game, again, I feel like I'm broken records. Oxford, you can't really complain. They got the three points. Uh, had a lot of quality. But they just towered our players. They were really big, strong lads. And I, I feel like, again, it's similar to Bristol Rovers, similar to, um, similar to Port Vale. It seems to be a reoccurring theme where we seem to be the less physical side like in, in terms of pace and ball control and just general, like everything. We just seem less physical. Like We seem less fit. I, I don't quite understand it. The only way I could put it down to maybe is that, and it's not their fault, we've got a lot of young players coming through. So obviously, Corey Anderson, uh, Campbell, Deji, and the Seamway in particular, they're sort of knocking around the first team now. And obviously, of course, uh, Daniel Carney. 
and like obviously it's a different level of football against the more senior players. You know, these lads ain't bulked out yet. So I think we're losing that in that sense. This it's not great. And I don't think we've got enough experience in the side to sort of um nurture those players. I think the most experienced head on the field today was probably you're looking at maybe Alfie May. But ultimately it's just the same old Charlton. It's like 85th minute loss again. Like, what's going on with these late goals? It's just going to be the same thing throughout the whole season until something changes. And um, I'm not sure where I stand with that at the moment. Um, is it more the players? Is it more the strategy? Is it more the manager? Like, you know, something's got to be wrong because there's too many late goals conceded. And that's a mentality issue. I feel like the subs were definitely better than usual because obviously we did like we look like a changed team. But then we're still making these sloppy mistakes. Go around it off there. Sort of like a flat vlog, to be honest. Uh, not happy with today's, you know, quality. Uh, the rain really hindered me. Like, every person I tried speaking to didn't want no part of it. And I understand why. And equally, I can't really talk out in the, in the rain, so I'll break my camera. So, you know, there's that. I hope you enjoyed the clips of the game for, for what was there. Um, and obviously the snips. And th that, that that's about it, really. So, um Tomorrow, I'm a guest on Charlton Live, where I'll probably, I'm going to speak a bit more if you want to tune into that. So obviously on YouTube, just search Charlton Live, give them a subscribe, and I'll be on there. And I feel, you know, share my thoughts a bit more then, so I can obviously, then I can reassess and sort of determine what happened today. But just more of the same old. Um, credit to Oxford, uh, you know, decent team, got a shed load of good players. There's a, there's a number of players I'd want from their team and our team. I think they're probably better all over the pitch, let's not let's not lie about these things like they probably were better all over the pitch uh, top of the table now for Oxford and we're lingering down about 19th I think now so just just a woeful start I don't think I've ever seen us lose five games in a row actually and yeah I think that as it goes on if something doesn't give I think the atmosphere is going to get a bit toxic because even today obviously the fans were booing the players coming off and and if I'm honest like rightfully so you, you don't, you don't want to see it but equally what, what are we going to do keep on clapping them like, I feel it just set, sets a mindset. At the moment, at, at the moment, it's become almost, almost like a culture at this club to be bottle jobs. Like, they are bottle jobs, these players. Like, there's no... there's. I don't want to give them too much credit here and say they worked hard and this and that, because that's, that's the bare minimum. I'm not going to keep saying for, like, the next 10, 15 videos, oh, they worked hard, they worked hard. Like, that is the bare minimum. Right, so that's that. Uh, Oxford down, match 5 of 46, 2 on Oxford. Admittedly, my energy levels are dropping a little bit here, and... I'm going to need a drink tonight, that's for sure. I'm going to need a couple of drinks after watching that because it was it, it was diabolical, yeah? Um, that's that. All right, to so those that are watching, hope you enjoyed it. Um, and I'll see you at the next one. Take care, stay safe, and enjoy what you're doing tonight. All the best. It's all right.